Thank you for uh, coming. Uh, my name is Hafiz Oki, and I am the CEO and the owner of Business Intel. And we have, co we have signed the, the contract to secure Baghdad International Airport. And uh, this is my passport. And this is my passport. Uh, this is the company registration in Canada, where you can see clearly my name. My name. So it's Hafizoki. And this is our uh, uh, security license in Canada. And where you can see my name, Hafiz Oki. I own 100%, I own the company. So the problem today that I cannot fire, I cannot terminate one of our employees, the country manager, because he has contacts with the officials and he has caused a chaos for the company, a chaos, corruption of its kind, corruption, no salaries, no equipment, no canine dogs, and everything has been stopped. So for that reason, we have f decided to terminate him for the well-being of the company, for the well-being of Iraq, and for the well-being of the airport, because airport security has been compromised. So there has been all this might and could cause a security breach, and for that reason, one person cannot manage, a one-man show cannot work. So as a security provider at Baghdad International Airport, I am requesting His Excellency, the Prime Minister of Iraq. Uh, I need his support. I need his help. This is not for me. It's for the airport. It's for Iraq. Because Baghdad International Airport is one of the key airports in Iraq. It's our job to secure this, to protect this. Right now, the airport is affected because Mr. Faraz, our former country manager has failed to pay the money. He has, in, he, we haven't paid the salaries. I need, I am requesting the support from His Excellency, the Prime Minister of Iraq, uh, to, uh, I need his support for payment, for our payment, that enabling us to pay our staff. Uh, we have signed a contract with the Iraq Civil Aviation Authority, and this is the contract. And you can see it's, oh, it's my name and I signed it. So basically, we have informed uh, the Iraq Civil Aviation Authority and the GCAN, the DG of the GCAN, that we have fired Mr. Faraz al Azawi. But very unfortunately, they have not been able so far. They are not taking any legal action in order to accept our application that we have the right, that I have all the right to terminate my employee, and including Mr. Faraz al Zawi, who has been uh, involved in so many and major corruption. And money has been taken away, money has been withdrawn from the bank accounts without my knowledge.